Hi everyone. It's day four of my one year of videos and it's also the 4th of July. <laughs> Happy 4th everyone. Um, yesterday I shared how this time alone as I've been experiencing heightened anxiety that the silence and being by myself has actually been a gift because it's helped me to really connect with myself to develop a relationship with me and to hear my inner guidance. About two months in to uh, that period of silence, I, yeah, it was two months after I moved to Asheville, early April, I felt this prompting to call a friend of mine, Kat, who lives in Maui. I had this thought, I think she has a message for me. You know, I, I wasn't sure, but I followed the prompting and connected with her. And as we were talking, at one point we got on the subject of bucket lists. And I was sharing with her some of the things that I wanted to do. And then I shared with her about one of them, which was the Inca Trail uh, that I wanted to do. I wanted to hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru. It's something that that I've wanted to do for a while now. And after I said that, she said emphatically, you need to do that this year. <laughs> and it landed when she said that. I, I felt this yes inside me. So the very next day, I went online and found a trekking company that, that does that, because uh, I wasn't gonna do it by myself. <laughs> and I put down a down payment to do the trek in October. October 19 is when it starts. I knew that if I didn't take action right away that inertia would set in and I wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, procrastination has never been good to me. Uh, so, so I just went ahead and just took the plunge. It was only $200 for the deposit and I figure, you know, if for some reason I just can't do it or feel like I'm not up to it, that, that's okay. Um, but I, I just took that first step. And then as I started making plans for flights and everything, I realized that my lease for my apartment here uh, is up in August, the first week in August. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I, I didn't want to stay here and I thought I'm gonna have to find a new place to live. And, and then the thought came to me, well, why don't I just go live in Peru for a while? So, um, I got back online to see if it was something that looked like it would be possible. And it was, and I decided to go for it. So, um, yeah. So in April, I decided that I'm going to go stay in Peru for a while. And, uh, so I will be leaving here. August 7th and I will potentially return <laughs> on January 7th. I guess I'll be back in country on January 8th of 2020. I thought it would be fun to experience the holidays in Peru. Um, yeah, so anyway, I have a, a lot of exciting things coming up and you know, I don't know I know I've shared with you about the anxiety over the past few videos and if I'm still experiencing it, it it'll just have to go with me. Um, I had anxiety when I was in Maui. It wasn't like it was magically gone when I was there and I still managed to enjoy the beauty and magic of that place and I've really enjoyed being here in Asheville. Yeah, being here has been really good for me. I live five minutes from the Blue Ridge Parkway. So within about 10 minutes, I can be on some really nice hiking trails. And so that, that's been great because I've been able to be out in nature and not be around a ton of people. Um, on Maui, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'd go for a walk on the beach and <laughs> there'd be tons of other people with me. Um, so this has really been beautiful uh, this time, the six months that I will have spent here in Asheville. And I guess that's another video done, day four. Hope y'all are having a great fourth, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.